Welcome back, little beans. Warning, the following ASMR is only aimed for beans from the need for comfort and positive energy from a favorite anime character. There won't be any NSFW versions on this ASMR. This is for all ages and it's appropriate for all. However, if you feel uncomfortable from videos like this, then click off. To the ones who are staying, go right ahead and get all cozy in your blankies, up in your headphones, snack on some pockies, and some Earl Grey, and enjoy this ASMR. Why, greetings, CL. It has been a while since we've had a little tea party together. Um, yes, Aloise, it has been a while. And plus, I... I hope you don't mind that I bring my butler trainee. Oh, butler trainee? Hopefully it's not another old one, like that weird one you brought, like, last time. You mean grow? Yeah, even though I like his style. You mean she? Oh. Uh, whatever. Anyway, please come in. I can't wait to meet this butler trainee. Oh my. <laughs> Why, hello there, cutie. What's your name? <laughs> Aloise, um, this is Listener. He's the butler trainee that Sebastian is, um, training. Oh, Listener. Aloise Trancy, the Earl of the Trancy Manor. It's quite a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Alois, please be appropriate with him. How old are you, dear? He's only 14. He turned 14 this year. Oh, you're the same age as me. Why? What a contrary. So, um... <laughs> Why am I so nervous? He's quite cute. <laughs> Uh, are we going to lead to the garden, Aloise? Oh, yes. <laughs> Please, uh, come with uh, me, listener. And um, CL. My CL, you never told me a trainee is quite a... <laughs> he began working with me for two months straight, so he's still a little rusty, and I'm teaching him how to serve us tea and, you know, treats as well. Oh, okay. Don't worry, I'll go very easy on him. Plus, he's such a cutie. Uh, sure, yes, but, uh, sometimes I need to be a little strict with him. Question, Ciel, is he single? Um, Aloise, I think you should ask that to him, not me. I don't know his backstory or anything. All I know is that he's doing a quite decent job, according to Sebastian. Oh. Well, I hope you don't mind if I get along with him yeah sure just we still got business to take care of remember oh yes don't worry i won't let your little butler distract me yeah sure anyways listener this is my garden it's so beautiful and so red with roses and bluebells hmm oh claude can you teach a listener on getting the tea prep for us <laughs> Thank you. Looks like you and Claude kind of finally uh, manage your relationship. Yeah, I don't really give a crap about him anymore. <sighs> but he's still my butler. I just kind of see him as a father in a way. Well, at least that's good. You see Sebastian as your father, right? Why, well, yes, of course. Our relationship is like a father and son. Oh, that's so cute. It's kind of cool that demons are like our fathers. Mm. Oh, they're back. My listener, you look good with that apron on. <laughs> Very good, listener. Now you must uh, pour the tea for us. Oh, oh, don't forget. You need to set everything up. Yes, that's correct. Uh-uh, you need to ask us first. You must remember what Sebastian taught you. I see, I'll go easy on the young lad. It's okay, listener. Um, just pour me some tea, please. I will allow you. You don't have to ask permission. Why, thank you. <laughs> yes, listener, I would like some tea, too. That's enough. Thank you. 
So anyway, um, about this old meeting business shenanigans. Oh yes, right. The queen has assigned us to um. Let's see. Oh, here we are. She assigned us to hunt down two teenagers that has been murdering dogs. My goodness, who would ever kill a dog? Some cruel people out there. I mean, it's so cruel. We must hunt these people down. I agree. So we have to be taking this very seriously. Alois, are you listening? Oh yes, Yael, I am listening. Don't worry, I, uh, my ears are open. Right. Anyways, um, so the teenagers oh, are. Oh, this is so handsome. How come I can't have a butter like that? Oh, I'm so jealous of you, Yael. Why can't I have someone like him? He's so handsome and so cute. I can just eat him all up. Ooh, I must woo him. But how the hell would I get Ciel to walk out so I could seduce him? You got that, Alois. Mm? Oh, yes, of course. We must hunt down those teenagers as soon as until dawn. Right. Also, um, Alois, I do not want to sound, uh... Rude, but, um, do you mind if you, um, point me down where the men's room is? Oh, why, well, certainly. It's right on the left. Of the hallway? How about Claude will lead you there? I mean, he won't mind leading you to the bathroom. Oh, I should have asked, but, uh, okay. Claude, would you lend me to the men's room? All right. Listener, please watch over Aloise. Yes, I'll be back in a few minutes. My, today's my lucky day. I was going to plan something, but this is way better. Listen, dear, how about you go sit down? Oh, don't be shy. Sit beside me. I don't bite. Only if you want me to. Go on, sit. Oh, don't worry. I won't tell Ciel about this. It's just between you and me. Plus, you need a break yourself. You must look so tense and tired of standing there. <laughs> so, tell me about yourself, listener. What are you like? Do you like working with Ciel? Oh, how lovely. Say, are you seeing anyone outside of the Phantom Hive Manor? Are you tied with anyone? You're not. So you're available? <laughs> Why, me too. What a coincidence. I mean, I'm not sure if you're interested in the same sex or opposite sex. Oh. So you're secretly attracted to the same sex. What do you find me, listener? Oh, I'm so flattered. Coming from a man around my age. <laughs> Host, listen, are you making me blush? Let me ask you this. Have you ever kissed another boy? Oh. <laughs> well, today's your lucky day. Because I've never kissed another boy myself. Why not give it a shot? Let's keep this between you and me, and never tell Ciel. Why, certainly. Plus, just meeting you in the, for the first time, I'm really attracted to you. I've never seen such a handsome butler, and around my age, it feels so right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You find my laughing adorable. Oh my, usually Seal finds it annoying, saying I sound like a total brat. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? Kiss me. I may not be your master, but for now, I order you to kiss me, listener. <laughs> My, you have such lovely eyes. 
I bet you like the way I pulled on your tie. Hmm. <laughs> My listener, you got such soft lips, making me crave more. <laughs> <laughs> How about one more for good luck between the both of us? <laughs> Once again, let's keep this between you and me. And now that we kissed. You are officially mine. <laughs> Not only you have one master, but you got yourself a personal master. <laughs> What's so funny? Oops! Welcome back, CL. Listen, it was just telling me some funny jokes. Oh, all right. Um, listen now, um, not to sound rude, but butlers are not supposed to sit, so you must stand up. Oh, see, I'll go easy on him. Just let him sit down for a bit. I allow him to. Very well. Anyways, um, so, that is the plan for tonight, and we must leave until dinner time. Oh, certainly. I mean, do you want to eat here? I mean, I don't mind you and this and us staying, sticking around. Why, certainly, yes, but I need to return back to the Phantom Hive Manor to get my gear. You can ask Sebastian to do it. Should have thought that. Hold on, may I borrow your phone? Of course. Claude, can you lead him to the phone room? Thank you. Well, thank you, Claude. <laughs> Would you like some food, too? I mean, I'll be your dessert. Oh, come on, having a secret love affair seems kind of spicy. And plus, I just want to get to know you and kiss you a little more. <laughs> oh, listener, we're going to get along very well. Are you coming to the mission as well? Hmm, I see. So you're not. If I survive the mission, of course I always do. How about I take you out on a date? Master's orders. I'd like to take you out. Why, that sounds perfect. Tomorrow's your leave. At least I can reward you. Then it's a date. <laughs> I have a turn. Sebastian will be bringing the gear here, so it appears we'll be sticking around here in your manor. That sounds perfect. Very perfect. Okay, then. So, how about we walk around the garden while we discuss more? Of course. Does this not have to come with? No, he needs to stand here. Oh. Okay. Let us discuss more of this mission. All right. Come along, Eloise. I'll talk to you later, listener. <laughs>